The Covenant is the most important ship of 2024, and today I'm going to go through the Target Recon or the Strategy Guide for this ship. This is part two of my five-part series, which is the Covenant Guide. The first one was a VXP video. If you missed that one, that's okay as long as you have your ships VXP'd. This one is about the targets. The third one, which is the very next one I'm making, will be about the build. Make sure to subscribe on YouTube to see that one. And if you're watching this a little bit later, go ahead and check it out after this one. By the way, this is future Derpy jumping in when I'm editing here. Just want to say if you can find a specific, if you want to find a specific turret or ship, you can jump to the timestamp in the YouTube hotbar or check the description of the video for that timestamp. Also, this stuff does take a ton of work, especially with more editing, so go ahead and let me know you like this by leaving a comment or a like, or better yet, sharing it with someone in your alliance. Jumping into the target, I'm going to go over a few different things in terms of the different turrets and the things that are in here. The first one is a short-range pincer missile. This one should do no damage to you. In fact, even if you are an auto, I believe in most cases, if not all, you're going to be completely fine and are not going to take damage. If you do get close to it, be aware that MDS-3s or sprints are not going to work against this one. A bit, of course, would help, and this is penetrative, being that it is a missile. The second thing here is really, really interesting. This is a slicer missile, which is a medium range, so longer range than you. And what I want you to pay attention to here is when I slow down to one quarter speed, how every single one of these incoming shots is shot down and intercepted by my single MDS-3, which is boosted by a special, I'll show you the build at the end, on this fleet. That means that at very, and in your worst case scenario, you need one MDS-3 for every one turret that's going to be shooting at you at a time. In other words, don't pack your fleet full of MDS-3s, you simply won't need them. And yes, some of them are going to get through and your MDS-3s are going to miss, but Evade also does help against this turret. Overall, you're going to want to focus on this one when other things that are doing no damage are shooting at you, but it shouldn't be that big of a deal and one MDS-3 does seem to work pretty well. Next up, we have a mortar, which is really not that threatening. Now, this manipulation mortar has longer range than you, but one chip with five gales here, which, by the way, does have projectile speed bonuses on it, can deal with this one completely fine. I think this is probably a little bit of an overbuild. In fact, I actually plan to add additional projectile speed to this particular hole, just in case there are multiple or Kickside does something that makes a much, much harder mortar in a future series of this target. Overall, this should do no damage to you if you have a mortar ship, or anti-mortar ship rather, built correctly. One of the higher threat items in this target is a rocket turret. Now this is the Rake rocket turret, which seems to me a little bit of a strange name, but I digress. Now what you're noticing here, and I'm going to show you a few runs of me driving up and down past this turret, is that this is going to do some damage to your fleet. Check out the health bar here when I'm doing a drive-by and he's shooting at me. I can't quite outrun all of the projectiles, and things like splash damage reduction, of course, would help. And let's even put it in one quarter speed and look at the health bar, look at the projectiles hitting, and see just what happens when he hits my fleet. Now, sprints are not going to help against this one simply because Kixai has tagged it that way. This is going to be one of the higher damage items in this target. If you're going to want to do your best to use something like uh, effective driving tactics or staying at the maximum range and doing a drive by, or actually using the built in weapon to help avoid some of that damage. Probably the single highest threat thing in this target is going to be the Razor Glade UAV. This is a UAV, and so you're not going to be able to counter it simply because Tixai has tagged it as MDS 3 sprint scales are not going to fire against this thing. It does, however, have a firing arc. Unfortunately, that firing arc has a longer range than you. One technique that I haven't quite mastered yet here is using my ships to turn in and out of this target and try and do a little bit of dancing. If you're inside that red ring for less time than it actually takes for the thing to forecast its reload and fire, you can get away with not firing. Unfortunately, that is a pretty low, or pretty, uh, pretty hard thing to do here, and it has a pretty low firing arc right there. Now, the more effective thing to do is something you already saw me do in my VXP video, which is where I use the built-in weapon to uh, target and damage from, by, by sort of chaining off of, is not quite the right word, but using a different turret to target and hit this guy too with some splash or AoE or the, or the built-in weapon, rather, is what you're going to want to do to take down this one. 
Now, interestingly, he does have King Killer here. So if you watch this right here, it shoots at the ship with the highest health, and by the way, it does an absolute ton of damage, and then switches to the next ship with the highest health, and then the next one. So that is something to be aware of, and is potentially something that we could exploit. Something else to be aware of is the ships in the target. There are two of them in this skill target. I have to imagine they won't be in the auto versions. But the first one here is a really slow moving crawler mirage ship and you can see that he actually does do damage to you if you do go inside those red arcs which i did to kind of show you what what happens and he shoots out a bunch of mortars that cms are not going to work against but should generally be avoidable if you stay out of the arcs or if you do get hit by him and you're moving you should take pretty low damage nothing too noteworthy just keep in mind that the high uh, range there will make even the low low turn speed turn into a pretty high velocity turn now the very last ship here is the Creeper Arc. This has two weapons. The first is a long range slow only, no damage. This big white ring here is a slow ring. And then the shorter range one, which you can actually outrange by driving, not by auto, is a bunch of rockets, which sprints are not going to help against, and you're really just going to have a really bad day. All you want to do for this one is drive and outrange it, which is actually relatively easy. It's not pixel perfect like we've seen in some other cases. So there are the few different things that you may have noticed in this target, and I hope that some of it was helpful. The big takeaways for me in terms of the build, which is the next video, by the way, the build shown used in testing here is the one on screen, which is the same in the VXP video. A few different weapons here, offensive on the first three ships, and nothing on ship number four, except for some countermeasures, etc. One of the biggest takeaways is that you want to use an, a single MDS-3. There's absolutely no reason to use more than one or possibly two of these things, or you're just wasting weapon space that could go to something else. You do generally want to overload on gales, because multiple gales continue to be useful. If your first shot misses, your second shot can shoot at it and take something down, whereas it's not true for MDS-3s. And gales, of course, should be boosted by high projectile speed items, as well as just a generic anti-special on, on all of them. So that's the big takeaways for me from this one. It seems like driving is going to be very, very important due to having the special ability here of the... I haven't figured out if this is best OER or best tower missile that fires those three different warheads all in a line here. Notably, this splash figure right here, 15, is kind of low, and you could increase this with something like Combustion System 2. I'll leave you with this one, and unfortunately, that's all the time I have for today. My build video will be the next one coming out in this series here. I want to give a huge thank you to the channel members whose names appear on the end screen now. They're helping keep videos like this posting and make videos like this one possible. If you're interested in having your name on screen and helping support stuff like this and the build stock, go ahead and click the join button below the YouTube video. With that said, and until next time, this is Derpy signing out, helping you be a better pirate.